We are here at the Kennedy Space Center with uh, Alexandra Uznańska Wiśniewska, um, wife of uh, Sławosz Uznański Wiśniewski, second Polish astronaut uh, who went up uh, to the space around an hour ago. What's your first impression? What's your first feeling after that uh, historical <laughs> moment for Poland? It's an incredible relief after you know the last 48 hours of great distress to be honest you know and, and, and enormous anticipation not only of the last 48 hours but to be frank with you over the past nearly 30 days which the axiom for crew has spent in quarantine and which we as family in and out try to support um, and I've been flying in and out from the Polish Parliament here to Cape Canaveral to be able to support my husband but I also obviously feel great pride national pride and I feel deeply moved and Somehow I almost feel have this sort of mystical sense that what has occurred today is a moment that will become incredibly significant in, I hope, shaping the future of Polish technology, of Polish science, of Polish education for hopefully uh, the next generation to come. You know him the best. Uh, you are <laughs> watching him, uh, on, of course, on the screen uh, yes. seconds before that moment. Uh, you probably know uh, his feelings. What was his feeling before the uh, liftoff? So, I mean, he was I incredibly focused. You know, I could see he was he was sort of sitting in the very corner, so we couldn't see him that well as opposed to the other team members. But I was that close to the screen on Saturn V balcony, observing him, you know, watching every micro expression. And uh, I know that there was great tension, you know, but he was just incredibly, incredibly focused. Uh, and then, you know, once they sort of reached the, the, the lower Earth orbit, you know, there was microgravity, you could see it's sort of the relief of stress, you could see joy, you know, and delight. And, uh, yeah, I, I think he's, he's probably, this is one of the few moments in life where I think his intellect, his passion um, aligns um, with also his sort of this incredible capacity of putting his life on the line for something he truly believes in. And I'm just... I, I couldn't be prouder and happier as, as, as a wife and, and as an MP as well from Poland, yeah. So we are, we will be around 400 kilometers, uh, like you, you will be 400 kilometers from him. Uh, it's only two weeks, is it, is it long uh, distance and long time period for you? We have been we have been long distance for uh, since, almost since ever we remember. So we sort of, be, you know, we, we um, yeah, we, we've been um, divided by an ocean for a number of months right now since Swabosh really began his training. Uh, I'm serving, I have the, the, the very much the privilege and the joy to serve in the Polish parliament. Uh, meanwhile, Swabosh was preparing uh, the last very few months in, at, at NASA in Houston. So uh, we're used to a distance. But obviously the fact that, you know, we couldn't be able to even, you know, sort of embrace one another touch each other's hand you know and we often express uh, our love you know our friendship you know to through through touch uh, was uh, was difficult so I cannot wait to, to embrace him upon his return on earth what's coming then after he'll be back to uh, to earth oh well I think uh, a, a great educational mission for Swavosh and hopefully you know I believe I, I, I truly believe in now let's let's ignore for a second that I'm his wife I truly believe in that Polish future rests on the very few brilliant, bright and rare minds such as that of Swabosh. Uh, in order for us to be able to technologically match other you know, developed economies in Europe, but also such as maybe one day even the United States, which currently is unmatched globally when it comes to the access and human spaceflight capacity. You know, we are completely reliant almost on one company, on SpaceX, right, to, sort of to, 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 to put humans on low Earth orbit. Hence, Swabosh is flying with, um, with SpaceX. Um, but in order for Poland to be able to dream of one day not staying massively behind, we have to invest in scientists, in um, physicists and engineers like Swabosh to hopefully be able to return to Poland, to see Poland as the place of their future development. And if I right now can, if you will allow me, sir, currently to perhaps address the very bright polls that might be listening to us today, that might be watching us. I know that so many, so many of you have left our country uh, to seek uh, higher education, to seek better chances of, uh, of employment, you know, better opportunities. And currently you hold within you enormous intellect, experience and expertise that our country and Europe as a continent could greatly benefit from. And I urge you, I truly, truly urge you to 
perhaps consider coming back to Europe, coming back to Poland. You know, this is a tremendous moment and we truly need you. We need your intellect, we need your brains, we need your motivation to be able to grow as a country, to be able to, uh, to, 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 to dream of big things for Poland. Aleksandra Uzdańska, Wisniewska, here from Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral. Thank you for being with us. Thank you very much.